Okay. Okay, so the last step is you're going to get, um, we're going to put, I'm going to have this be a white blouse. And so she's got all of her shadows in, or pretty much most of them. And she's got some lights showing through. And now for the, for the very end stage, you're going to put on some warm lights. Now, um, I think I'm going to, you could do two, do this two ways. You could um, add blue to the white or add yellow ochre and orange. And I think I'm going to add yellow ochre and orange to the white. And this is the stage. Remember the, the last stages, the thicker paint comes on in the very end. So the lightest is the thickest. And we don't use white right out of the tube. We always add something to it. So this has a little yellow and a little orange, yellow ochre. And a lot of white. <laughs> and so we're putting this, I've got a lot of color on my brush, a lot of paint on my brush. And since I don't really have a picture that I'm working from now, I mean, the girl that was in that portrait does not have, hello, she does not have a white blouse on. She's got, that's my phone. I thought I had a hawk on here. I know, but it must be, my son set this up, so. Okay, okay so. The light's coming from this way, so she might actually get some color on her shoulder. So maybe just, I'm turning my brush to the side. And this is the part that if you want to do the impressionist stuff and you actually get to see the brush strokes, this, this would be the time. That's a little bit too much. So that's too strong, and I think it might be a little bit too strong. I can just kind of soften the edge with my cloth. I might soften that anyway. And I've got some paint still on this brush, so let's put... I'm going to let some of this paint show through. So I've, I'm, the reason I pulled this up to the front is so that I can put my brush flat you don't want to be painting up like this. You want your brush flat. So that for this kind of thing, you want to see some of the stuff underneath. So I'm putting some, there's my phone. Someone's leaving me a message. Okay, so. And it's a very soft touch if you want to see some of the stuff underneath. Shirt. Yeah, this is this is basically for the shirt. I think, you know, I had one color here, but I think if this were a white shirt, I'm going to go ahead and put, um, and if, if you're going to put a line, like this has a seam around the top part, you don't want to start here and end up here. You want to do this in several strokes. And so again, I'm holding it flat, and I'm only using part of my paintbrush because it's a thin stroke, but I've got a thick brush. So... Your eye will know how to connect all these dots. And over here, I probably should have been a little bit lighter, and I'm going to be a little bit lighter here. I mean, lighter touch, so that this is a little bit, so I can see a little bit more stuff come through. And I think I should have seen a little bit more stuff over here. Some of that underpainting should be showing through. Because I want this to be a little bit darker on those edges. And if you look at some of those old portraits, a lot of them, the faces are really, really smooth. And then you look down in their clothes, and you can see all these wonderful brush strokes. So. And we can also do 
a little bit with this vest, get a few more brush strokes there just for fun. I know I'm running out of time on my little video, so I'll just... It has to be a lighter, brighter color than what's there if the light is on it. So I've got yellow ochre, orange, and a little bit of uh, burnt sienna. And she might get some light here. That might even be a little bit too bright. But. Too bright. And maybe just across that shoulder.